What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Moose here back with another Aliens Fireteam Elite video and today guys we have received the first Season 1 update within the game, September 8th. That's right guys, it just dropped a few minutes ago and a lot of you have probably heard about this new Phalanx class coming to the game. Well, as you can see here on the screen, this is the Phalanx class guys and I'm really excited about it because it definitely brings a whole new formula to the table when it comes to defeating some of these Xenos and might help make things a little bit easier. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the Phalanx class. So as you guys can see here, right here, he is a tanky class. Now he comes with the Bulwark, which is the kit perk Phalanx only. Blocking damage with your shield increases your damage dealt by 3% for 4 seconds. This effect stacks up to five times. That is his passive ability. Now coming here, guys, we have the Shock Pulse. Phalanx kit ability immediately stuns nearby enemies and causes enemies that melee you to be dazed. Affected enemies also take damage over time. So really, really cool there, guys. DOT damage there with the Shock Pulse over time and also uh, affects the enemies and causes them to be dazed. So this is the main part of this build that I can't wait to try out, guys. This is his shield, obviously. Uh, pretty self-explanatory when it comes to this. Deploy your shield, blocking most shots from up front. Causes you to move slowly. So when you pop the shield, guys... I do not believe that this shield has a cooldown. Of course, we'll find out whenever we play him. But it does appear that the shield blocks incoming projectiles and damage from the front. So, of course, you can still get hit from the sides and the back. But the shield definitely looks like it's going to come in handy, especially uh, to get your team to rally behind it and do some massive damage up front. So that is the Phalanx class in a nutshell. Um, as you guys can see here, he can use the handgun and a CQW to close quarters. Um, probably because he has his shield, so it does look like he can only use one-handed weapons, which is pretty cool. Um, totally understandable. But as far as that goes, guys, that is the, the bulk of the Phalanx class. We're going to jump into a game, try him out. But I want to talk a little bit more about this update, guys, because there's a lot of stuff that comes with it. With the free content update, as well as the Season Pass, uh, which is free for Deluxe Edition owners, but $10 if you don't have the Deluxe Edition. So, uh, looking at the patch notes online here, it says the new Phalanx kit. Marine Phalanxes are named for their collapsible shields, which allow them to serve as mobile bunkers. As one arm is needed to hold the shield up, they are armed with a handgun and a CQW, both of which can be wielded in one hand. When swarmed, they can trigger a point-blank shock pulse to disrupt foes. Now, this class, guys, is free for all players. This is part of the free content update. It unlocks immediately when players log into the Season 1. Includes the full suite of perks for Phalanx, all obtainable through gameplay. And with that said, guys, let's jump into the perks for the Phalanx class. Uh, as you can see here, obviously, they're locked. We have uh, increased the range and reload speed of handguns by 15%. And these are all universal, guys, so you can use these on any character. Um, increases the stability and stumble of CQWs by 15%. Uh, we have the Vanguard. Nearby allies that are behind you take 10% less damage and an additional 10% less when your shield is up. That is insane, guys. Okay, so if you have teammates behind you... Without, it, you don't even have to have your shield up. If they're behind you, they take 10% less damage. Now, if you have your shield up, they take 20% less damage if they're behind you. So not only are they getting the cover from the shield, but they're also taking 20% less damage. That is ridiculous. Um, we have Resilience. Grants you 20% stun res resistance, 10% ADS movement speed, and 10% shield move speed. Also could come in handy there if you want to move around a little bit faster with your shield. Um, we have Keep Them Pinned. Enemies you shoot deal 10% less damage for 4 seconds. Okay, so shooting enemies will debuff, the, uh, will debuff them, uh, causing them to do less damage back to you. That is also a universal perk. Um, let's go ahead and see, that should be it for that. Let's see what we have for modifiers. We have a ton of Phalanx modifiers. Um, 
I'm not going to go through all of these right now, guys, but whenever you get the class, it is free. You'll be able to check these out. Tons of modifiers for Phalanx. Um, that's the core. That's pretty much there, guys. The combat grid, of course, we're going to be working hard on this, trying to get this done uh, to max this, max this bad boy out and see what it can do. But back to the patch notes, guys. We have uh, new additions to uh, Sergeant Park's armory. Four new weapons, the L-33 Pike, the L-59 minigun, Type 88. Oh, let's jump. Let's run over to him. Okay, so he's selling these. That's really cool. Look, I, did, I thought they would have to be to found. Ferment. Okay. You'd be surprised how many spray um, from the battalion. Oops. I'm not big on anything not on the there racks. We go. I can pull out. Okay, weapons. Thing. Here we go. Well, we got a lot of money, man, so I think I could buy all these. Well, maybe. Hopefully. So we have the N79 EVA laser, guys. Well, let's go ahead and purchase that. <laughs> Um, we have, uh, oh, okay, the Type 88 Assault Rifle. There we go, it's an automatic rifle. Let's go ahead and pick that up as well. Uh, we, oh, man, we have the, we have the L33 Pike, guys. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, man, I'm glad we, uh, saved up some of these. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the L59. The mini gun is in the game. Unfortunately, this is a heavy gun, so we're not going to be able to try it on uh, the Phalanx out of the gate. It looks like a demolisher gun, but uh, we're definitely going to be giving that a try, too, and showcasing that. But that is really cool as well. So we got all the new weapons, guys. The L-33 Pike, the L-59 minigun, the Type 88 heavy assault rifle, and the N-79 EVA laser uh, handgun. Let's go ahead and equip that handgun and take a look and see what that uh, see what that's all about, man. Uh, where is it at? Oh, there it is. Oh, heat warning. Okay. That is really freaking cool, man. So it charges, guys, and it appears that it can overcharge. That's the L, uh, the L15, or I'm sorry, the uh, N79 laser handgun. Um, but yeah, we're going to try all these out. We have new two new gun colorways, the Fleck Camo Autumn Marble Gray. Uh, okay, assuming that he's selling all of these. I'm not big on chatting up the customer. I think we've acquired a few uh, things you'll find. Two new colorways. What were they called? Fleck Camo Autumn and Marble Gray. Uh, is he selling these? Maybe not. Oh, there. Wait. No, okay. Fleck Camo Autumn. Okay, there's the, there's the new colorway. And we have the Marble Gray, which is right here. Two new colorways. Cool. Uh, two new gun decals, uh, which are Nuke from Orbit and Nostromo. Oh, freaking sweet. Uh, let's check it out, man. Oh, that is so cool. And we have Nuke from Orbit, guys. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pick these bad boys up right now. So cool. Such an homage to the Aliens franchise, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a new cowboy hat straw. Yeah? I do well, like my cowboy hat. The cowboy hat is my favorite okay. headpiece on this game, guys. Look, I keep hitting her, the wrong button. Okay, there well, we go. Let's see what fell um, off the back of head the head accessories. Jeez. Over. There we go. Okay, so we got cowboy hat straw. Uh huh. There it is. <laughs> yes. Definitely buying that for sure. All right, guys. So we got the straw cowboy hat. I am so excited about that. I love the cowboy hat. So that is just what you've seen here, guys. That is everything that is free. So even if you don't have the deluxe edition or you don't plan to buy the DLC, everything I have just shown you is absolutely free. You just have to purchase it with in-game currency, of course. So with that said, let's jump into the paid stuff. There is a ton of paid stuff. Let's get into it. The Way You Armory DLC. Okay, so it says now available for in-game for all owners of the Deluxe Edition or individual purchase for $9.99. So we have 12 kit skins. Okay. So I'm assuming I should have these all in my inventory, right? Uh, six Wayland yutani skins. Okay. So would that be... Oh. Um, <laughs> wait, let me take a look here, guys. Give me one second. Uh, four colorways, four emotes, additional items, uh, 
12 kit skins. Okay, so there's our cowboy hat. Let's put that bad boy on right now. Uh, by the way, guys, we have the Horde, all the Horde Slayer gear. We've completed everything. We, we've completed uh, everything on Horde to uh, receive that. Insane, extreme, and intense. Uh, so anyway, we have the Waylon yutani cap. Okay, Waylon yutani cap. This is part of the paid DLC. We have the Waylon yutani Surface Expedition, which is right here. I'm just going down the line here, guys, on the patch notes. We have the Wayland Utani EVA helmet. Uh, oh, God, that is freaking beautiful, man. Let's go, baby. That is so cool. <laughs> I am loving it. Loving it so far. And we have the Spec Ops. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, some cool stuff right off the freaking bat, man. All right, so we got 12 kit skins. Um, let's see. Is it, now, is that considered outfits? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I apologize, guys. I'm trying to nav figure out how to navigate this. Okay, so we got the Waylon Utani right there. Okay, so that's going to go with the white outfit. I got it. Okay, and here's the Spec Ops. This goes with this helmet, of course. All right, very cool. So we're going to put on the white, definitely. We're going to put on the... Um, there we go, man. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got all this stuff. Good to go. This is stuff that is included, guys, in the uh, paid DLC. Uh, so I want to make sure... Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to... Okay, so these, so every class has a different type of Waylon Utani and Waylon Utani Spec Ops gear. Um, this is the Gunner uh, variant of the gear. Not too much different, but um, slightly different. Uh, so each class has its own specific type of Waylon Utani gear that they can put on themselves right now. Um, and as for that, guys, uh, we're going to get into some gameplay for the Phalanx. There's a ton. Thank you. 